Hello everyone and welcome to Randomly Mine Channel. Today I want to talk about the legend story of Karim Benzema, who has just left Real Madrid after 14 years at the club. Karim Benzema is one of the greatest strikers of all time. He joined Real Madrid from Lyon in 2009, and since then he has scored 353 goals in 647 games. He is the second highest scorer in Real Madrid's history, behind only Cristiano Ronaldo. Benzema was not only a prolific goal scorer, but also a creative playmaker and a leader on and off the pitch. He formed a formidable partnership with Ronaldo and Gareth Bale, known as the BBC, and later became the mentor and friend of young talents like Vinicius Jr. and Rodrigo. He was also the captain of Real Madrid and the winner of the Ballon d'Or in 2022. But now, Benzema has decided to leave Real Madrid as a free agent and join Saudi Arabian side Al Ittihad, managed by former Premier League boss Nuno Espirito Santo. He will reportedly earn a staggering £172 million a year, making him one of the highest paid players in the world. Why did Benzema leave Real Madrid? What motivated him to join Al Ittihad? How will Real Madrid cope without him? These are some of the questions that many fans are asking right now. In this video, I will try to answer these questions and give you my opinion on Benzema's legacy at Real Madrid and his future at Al Ittihad. I will also show you some of his best moments and goals in a Real Madrid shirt, as well as some of his emotional messages to his teammates and fans. So stay tuned and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos like this. Let's begin. Karim Benzema was born in Lyon, France, on December 19, 1987. He grew up in a poor neighborhood with his Algerian parents and seven siblings. He started playing football at the age of eight and joined Lyon's Youth Academy when he was nine. He made his debut for Lions' first team in 2005, at the age of 17. He quickly established himself as one of the most promising young talents in Europe, scoring 66 goals in 148 games for Lyon and winning four consecutive League One titles. In 2009, he caught the eye of Real Madrid's president Florentino Perez, who was looking for a new Galactico to join his project. Perez paid 35 million euros to sign Benzema from Lyon, making him one of the most expensive transfers at the time. Benzema arrived at Real Madrid with high expectations, but he also faced fierce competition from other strikers like Gonzalo Higuain, Raul Gonzalez and later Cristiano Ronaldo. He struggled to adapt to his new environment and his form suffered. He scored only nine goals in his first season at Real Madrid and was criticized by fans and media for being overweight and lazy. He was also involved in some off-field controversies that tarnished his image. Many people doubted if Benzema had what it takes to succeed at Real Madrid. But he did not give up. He worked hard to improve his fitness, his attitude and his skills. He also developed a close relationship with Ronaldo, who became his mentor and friend. Benzema's breakthrough season came in 2011-12, when he scored 32 goals in all competitions and helped Real Madrid win their first La Liga title since 2008. He also formed a deadly trio with Ronaldo and Bale, known as the BBC, Benzema Bale Cristiano. The BBC dominated European football for several years, scoring hundreds of goals and winning four Champions League titles in five seasons, 2014, 2016, 2017, and 2018. Benzema was an integral part of this success, providing assists and creating space for his teammates with his intelligent movement. Benzema also became a fan favorite at Real Madrid, earning the nickname El Gato, the Cat, for his agility and grace on the pitch. He also showed his loyalty to the club by rejecting offers from other teams like Arsenal, PSG and Manchester United. 
Benzema's best season came in 2019-20, when he scored 27 goals and won the Pichichi Trophy as the top scorer in La Liga. He also won the Ballon d'Or, beating Lionel Messi and Robert Lewandowski to the prestigious award. Benzema was hailed as the best striker in the world and the leader of Real Madrid. He also became the captain of the team after Sergio Ramos left for PSG in 2022. However, Benzema's fairy tale story at Real Madrid came to an end in 2023, when he announced his decision to leave the club as a free agent. He said he wanted a new challenge and a change of scenery after 14 years at Madrid. He also said he was grateful to Real Madrid for everything they had given him and that he would always love the club and the fans. He said he was proud of his achievements and his legacy at Real Madrid. Benzema's departure shocked many people, who wondered why he would leave Real Madrid at the peak of his career. Some speculated that he was unhappy with the club's management, who failed to renew his contract and sign new players to strengthen the team. Others suggested that he was tempted by the money and the adventure of playing in Saudi Arabia, where he would join Al Ittihad, managed by Nuno Acerito Santo. Al Ittihad reportedly offered him a four-year deal worth £172 million a year, making him one of the highest paid players in the world. Benzema said he was excited to join Al Ittihad and that he wanted to help them win trophies and grow their fan base. He also said he was looking forward to playing with former Real Madrid teammate Cristiano Ronaldo, who had joined Al Nasser at the end of 2022. Benzema said goodbye to Real Madrid, but he and we all will never forget his time at Real Madrid, as he will always be a Madridista. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new about Karim Benzema's legend story at Real Madrid. What do you think of Benzema's decision to leave the Royal Club? Do you think he made the right choice? How do you think Real Madrid will cope without him? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.